We're heading out on this week's episode of Should I Buy It? We're going to go out and look at a 1953 La Cabana. La Cabana, made in California. They're very rare. Very, very rare, especially this early model. It's a 53 or 54. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the VIN. But they're a very cool camper from what I surmise. There's not very much about them on the internet, but uh, I, I did ask a guy that knew. So uh, I'm going to go look at it, uh, check it out. Uh, if you'd hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. Helps our channel grow. Maybe go ahead and, uh, I don't know, hit the subscribe button, see what happens. And we're pulling up on this right here. So, uh, Check this out. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get up here and take a look. All right, we're going to check the VIN on this. It is a 1953. Right there is the 53. You can barely see it. 53. So it is a 53. Look at this, though. Yeah, this is one of those ones that has that, looks like an airplane. Just super sleek, de you know, art deco. Um, it's a 53. La Cabana made in California. Like I said, look at these windows. I mean, that is just so cool. This one obviously needs some help. That side, that whole side does, but this, is, this doesn't open. That's just a solid window right there. Look at how tall it is. There's gonna be some room on the inside of this one, but everything looks, for a 53, this looks in great shape. Well, that's a J rail that, that's kind of flimsy, but I, that's what they used. And they just screwed this tin on it. It's got about a six inch break in it and barely a break, but it's pretty cool. Windows all need some attention. There's your all your cord probably pulls out right there. We're uh, obviously gonna update to 30 amp. And there's a place to put some water in. Right here's the water in. That's been replaced because that's plastic. That would have been metal back in the day. Just had a little work done down here, these giant screws in there, but that's okay. But look at how cool this reflector is. Man, that is heavy duty. Pretty cool lights on here. On the back, obviously, they've added some lights, but I love this window. This window is real nice. These eyebrows aren't terribly bad, really. Uh, this is a nice camper. I'm probably going to have to replace things like this, though, because I think this is really going to be a high-end camper when it's done. Uh, swing around here. Not, I have never seen this. That doesn't mean it doesn't happen. I just have never seen it. All the ones I've ever rebuilt. Look at this. It opens this way. I don't have the key. I, you know, I'd have to drill that out, or it's screwed in right there. But it comes out this way. Never seen that. Maybe you have. I haven't. Door. It's always kind of look like aircraft when they do this like this, and I like it. I really do like it. Again, not bad, but you know, this thing really deserves to uh, have something redone. It's got Here is the original wheel for the jack. Ah, boy, I was gonna need some WD-40, but look. That's super cool, we're gonna redo that. Obviously, this has been gutted in the front. Looks like somebody tried to go ahead and replace the, the interior without taking the skin off. And as you know, if you read anything on the internet, you can't do that. These, it just has to come out. It has to come out. So let's see if this is the original door. I mean, uh, table, yeah? That looks pretty original. Um, you could tell back in the day, this was nice. Look at that. It was probably more of a honey oak at one time, but over the years, that shellac has just kind of turned more to a golden brown. We've got uh, the stove. I don't know that we'll be saving that. We might. We'll look at it. You know, sometimes these guys need this, and they're good. They're good for that. Let's pull this down, maybe get a little light on the subject. The sink is stainless, and it looks pretty good. I and mean, we're not going to hand pump any of our water anymore. You can see right there, this was all cabinets like this. I mean, just and these little hooks to hold them up. Original light. I don't see a gas light. It must have went out when they tore everything else out. But you can really, I mean, if you just take a look at this thing, you can I mean, look at how tall it is. I mean, I'm not a, a 
giant by any means, but I can stand up in here. And there's no drop down. I mean, it's somebody, you can see, somebody tried. It's so hard to do, though. You know, you see all these. You're just not going to want to put that much trim in here. You know, they should have replaced all of that, all the buildup. This is falling in. That's, I mean, that's just not how you redo a camper. I love this camper, though. Let me go talk to the owner, see what we can do on some money. I want, I want this camper. I bet you I leave with it. Let me go talk to him. Well, just like that 70s game show, the price is right. We're taking it home. Uh, I bought it right. I did buy it right. The guy was reasonable. He knows the amount of work that this is going to take. But it's a La Cabana. I think it's the first year La Cabana, which makes it very rare. It's rare just being a La Cabana. 53 La Cabana? I've seen them start. People say they start at 55. This is a 53. I don't know. We're going to do some more research on that. But uh, we bought it. It's coming back to the Rob Rebuilder World Headquarters.